Hi, welcome to Real Magic Review. My name is Steve Fulton. Today, I'm going to be talking about Declassified by Chris Rawlings. Before we do this, like and subscribe, do all that stuff, share it if you like. Uh, while we're at it, I have a very rare thing for me. Uh, there is a full performance, a full show of me on Chasing Rabbits TV. You do have to check that out if you haven't yet. It's a YouTube channel dedicated to just showing magic shows, magicians doing their shows. That's it. So it's great for the community. Check out Chasing Rabbits TV on YouTube. The links will be below and you can see a full performance of me. Uh, I apologise in advance. Right. The, uh, oh, onlinemagic.co. That's what you want to look at. Onlinemagic.co is my membership site. 900 plus videos, special guests. We had James Went, who's also on Chasing Rabbits. Check him out, his uh, episode on there. That was episode one. But he came on and we've got a couple of other people coming on soon. It's going to be just 160 live sessions. Uh, so, and like I said, 900 videos. Right, I'll stop waffling about that now and waffle about this. Declassified. Now, I, I reviewed Memoraid like two reviews ago by Chris Rawlins. You might be thinking, why are you doing another Chris Rawlins thing? Is he your best mate or something? No, even though he's lovely. Now, the reason I'm doing this now is because when I got this, I went and did a lecture down at Hassocks. Thank you for being so lovely. But when I was staying down there, I took this with me. I've just received it. And it's so easy. And I was staying in this uh, bed and breakfast in the pub and the guy was lovely. And I just thought, oh, I'm just going to give it a go with zero kind of practice or rehearsal. And it was such great fun, I want to review it now while it's fresh. So what is it? Uh, Declassified is a whole presentation. It's not just a trick. He, Chris gives you the whole presentation. I know many of you will think, why would you want to do someone else's presentation? We don't, you can do yours, but there is a story around this. And this is the one of the interesting things about it. So that's what you get. You get this big old folder, which is interesting. Get that out and it's very interesting, but obviously limited. You're not going to be walking around your close-up gigs doing it. And what you say is pretty much something that they can Google and check out for themselves. So this is all based around the CIA testing that was done in 1973 with Uri Geller and the CIA, where they did various thin, things of locking him in a room and getting him to duplicate uh, photos. They chose words out of dictionaries and he would draw a picture and get the picture right. And the fascinating thing is that they did find that he was psychic. <laughs> so it's great. And that's all true. It, they can Google it. And the, the I think it was two years ago or a few years ago that the CIA files were declassified and made open to the public. And this is what you get. And you talk, you tell them this story. And as I said, they can check it out for themselves. They can even do it when you're there, if you want. It's brilliant. You say, well, on eBay and bought this. I mean, I just say, yeah, I got it. It's probably a duplicate copy, but I'm really fascinated with it. Um, my presentation, actually, I talked about how when he phoned me up and gave me a testimonial, which is also true, but gives me a bit of kudos in front of people at a certain age if I'm performing for them. So you show them this. You get it out, um, it's good if it's a bit beat up, when you get it it's in good condition and you go through it and you show them all the pictures and what it says, you read a bit out of it and you say, you know, the two drawings used in this experiment were selected by randomly opening a large college dictionary and selecting the first word which could reasonably be drawn. And you then do the experiment with them. You get them to lift up the, the pad and it's a big old thing this. And they lift it up wherever they want, get a, a, um, an impression, and you draw what they see. Or, and there are different things you can do with this. I won't go for all of them, but that's it at its most basic. Super easy, a bit of audience management, very important. And presentation is in, an important thing, not just the presentation itself, but the subtleties which Chris goes into. He really talks you through, don't do this, do that. If you do this, it'll be more convincing, it gives you some really good lines to really give them the feeling that they've fr completely freely, freely chosen something. And it's great. It's really good fun. It's no memory work. It's just pretty much self-working, again, with the audience management thing. Now, some of you might be thinking, that's not me. I don't really do that sort of thing. That's totally fine. It's not for you. And I love it. And there are different presentations you can do around it. It doesn't just have to be the picture there. It can be a word involved. And great, you've got 10 minutes of material there if you're a good storyteller. 
Then you've got the pro version. Now the pro version is what it sounds like. The pro version is the way Chris does this and has done it for quite some time where there's like a free stage performance. And this can be like a 20 minute plus performance. It has that bit in it, but there are a bit either side of it as well. The first is like an intro into it. And then afterwards you've got this whole routine, which is a, a kind of finale to this. Not that that's needed. If you were to do this on its own, it's great. But you've got a whole thing involving three people that come on stage with you stemming from this. And that's brilliant. You, you, for that, you get this, which just maps out what Chris does. Now, this does in require you to have a little bit of mentalism capability. The things he describes, he doesn't go into detail. But if you know your mentalism, you are going to know what they are. And if you don't, you're going to know where to find them. But this isn't, and that's why I say it's called the pro version. This isn't for someone who doesn't know anything about mentalism. You're not going to get that and know exactly what to do in detail for those three stages. But it's pretty basic stuff. And of course, elevated to something more with the performance tips that Chris gives you. So that's what you get for the pro version. Do you need it to do it? Absolutely not. That's the, you know, for people who want to get on stage or importantly, do it in a house. It's really good to do in a house because it involves going into another room with people. So it's a really dynamic, interesting thing. The whole thing's brilliant. Yes, it's not the most versatile thing, but for a mentalist it is because, because of the context of it and because it mentions dictionaries. So you can bring in a book test to do before or afterwards. If you've got ESP cards, it totally gives it context. It's giving you this framework to perform all those classics, but giving you a context so they all make sense. And yeah, of course you can be very kind of liberal with the truth and stuff. He did, he did these with ESP cards as well. You can, you know, then it, it, it's great. You can force things if you like. You can do non-force things. You can bring in center tests with all those things. I think it's a really, interesting really interesting piece of work and again if you know a few things you're going to go out straight away be able to do it straight away but of course do watch all of the instructions um, it's really worth because you'll pick up some great tips there so there you go that is declassified by chris rawlins and um and i love it i think it's great fun and hopefully there'll be a little clip of the performance here too have a great one. Any questions? I'll have missed out loads of stuff. It's super easy. Angles aren't really a problem and it, you're going to be able to do it straight away. But it's just a bit of an awkward thing to carry around if you're going to do it closely. You don't want to be rolling it up, putting it in your pocket. Um, but if you want to sit at a table and do it at a close-up gig, um, nothing wrong with that at all. It's one of those lovely things. Oh, hang on a minute. I'm going to go and get something and people will talk about it. And the guy that I did it to was really like super sceptical in a good way. But he, afterwards he was like, oh, it's really made me think. And start questioning things uh, which is brilliant right thank you very much thanks chris for sending that to me the links will be below a time of recording um actually i'm not going to do prices because they tend to change and it's annoying for everybody because it's going to be up for a long time so use the links check out onlinemagic.co chris has been on that and, and done some mentalism stuff with the uh with the group and that's all uploaded There's loads of mentalism on there if that's your bag and uh like and subscribe if you like it and you would like to subscribe to it. Share, tell your friends. I'll stop talking now. At Steve Faulkner on Instagram. See you later.